Okay, in this video, I'm going to go over the top five mistakes that most inexperienced fighters make. They can be deadly, they can end the fight right then, and, but a lot of people think they're a great idea. And I love it when they make them because it gives me the fight and gives me the win. Works every single time. Number one, haymakers. Big guys who think they're tough, been in a couple bar fights against people who've never even been in a schoolyard fight or, or people who get in some kind of you know, bully fight on the street, love to do the haymaker. It's their most favorite thing to do and it's the easiest thing to guard against. What they do is they'll walk up, get all hyped up, get in their face, talk a bunch of crap like they want. They, they say they can kick your ass, they're going to beat you down. When they wind up, like they're going for the long pitch, trying to throw the fastball way back here, swing nice and huge and wide, arm full extent, swinging with all their power as hard as they can, which gives it a lot of power, but makes the punch take forever and gives me plenty of time to decide to do whatever I want. So what I do whenever they do that big huge haymaker, if he's coming from the outside here um, with his left hand, with a big left haymaker of his, I just step into it, run my fingers through my hair, then even if he manages to connect, he's punching behind me because I've moved in and closed the distance, he can't do anything, I can do anything I want. I can give him straight to the face, straight to the gut, whatever I want to do. I can even come here and then just come with the right off the, off the same side. I can do anything I want because He's taken 10 years to do it. So same thing for the other side. He wants to come with the haymaker. I just step into it, fingers to the hair, and then do anything I want. Here, here, here on the same side, whatever. I can even wrap him up. If you're a wrestler, you like to take guys to the ground, control them on the ground, it's easy to wrap a guy up when he throws a haymaker because you can step in and wrap him right up from that. So if he comes with the haymaker, then I just run my fingers to my hair. I come all the way down and just wrap him up. Take him to the ground. Nice and easy. Do knees, whatever you want. So if they go for the haymaker, just step into it. They can't do anything about it. It's important though, don't drop your other hand when you come in because he still has another hand. Second most common mistake that guys make is they, is they like to rush. And when they rush, they'll get, it's the same thing. It's the same thing as a haymaker. They get all pumped up talking themselves up, maybe slap themselves around, oh, I'm going to take you out, whatever they're going to do. doesn't matter. They get all rushed, and then they're going to run at you. Like they're going to run and tackle you like it's football or something. Another thing, love it when they do it, because it gives you all the time in the world to do whatever you want. You just stay calm, just like with the haymaker, and handle them when they get there. So if they're going to come and rush at you, they're going to rush, and maybe they're rushing to throw a haymaker, maybe they're rushing to try to tackle you. Whatever. Gives you all the time in the world because you don't need to rush, you don't need to run, you just need to take one step and knock them out. Just punch them in the face as they go by and they'll drop and slide. So if he comes and wants to rush at me, they step aside, right across. Nice overhand right, right on the jaw as he goes. Nice and easy. It's not hard. It doesn't even take any real skill. You just step inside and punch him. It's nice and easy. You can even throw a knee in as he's going by if you want to do that. He's coming up and he's wanting to rush me. Nice knee. Boom. Knees he goes by. End of story. You can do it from either side. If you're a left hand, you can jump to the left side instead. So if he wants to rush me, come at me and try to tackle me. Step to the left side. Boom. Knee right in the gut as he goes by. And that's the end of it. Nice and simple. And you've got all the time in the world to do whatever you need to do because he's being an idiot and you're remaining calm. Third most common mistake that guys like to do is when somebody starts throwing punches at them, instead of blocking, like I've shown, where you run your fingers through your hair and take it on your arms, they like to reach out and try to knock it to the side. Or lift, tilt their head back and try to move it to the side like there's some kind of girl doing a slap fight. You know, that's not going to help you. You know, yeah, if he's throwing one little quick jab, just a little slide jab like that, yeah, you can bat that. Or if when you're coming in, and you're coming in with your own, uh, attacker combo, you can bat his hands down so that you can get in over the top of him. But if he's coming at you with a two or three hit combo, what are you going to do? Bat all three? What happens if you miss one? You go down. It's a stupid thing to do. So if he comes at me with a three hit combo, how am I going to bat every, every single one of them? What am I, some kind of kung fu martial arts master? No, it's not going to work. So if he comes in with all three, comes in with some kind of three hit combo, I can't, I can't get them all. It's not possible. If he comes in with a three-hit combo and I block instead, 
He's not going to hit me with any of them, and then I can count. So it becomes an inch. And that's the end of it. He doesn't get anything in. At most, he might get a glancing blow off the top of my skull. But that's not going to do anything to me. Your head, the top of your head, is the hardest part of your body. If anything, he'll be hurting his knuckles. In the meantime, you're remaining calm, blocked in, watching, picking your spot, and bringing in your tight uh, counter punches. Nice and easy. So stupid things to do. Even some experienced fighters like to say, oh, well, I bat, I bat, I bat. What are you going to do? Bat a 10-hit combo? You're going to bat when he goes on you? It's not going to do you any good. Number, what, what are we on? Four. Number fourth most common mistake that guys like to make is the duck. It's completely and totally a bad idea. Now, bobbing is a good idea. Weaving is a good idea. But ducking is a bad idea. Anytime you take your eyes off your opponent, you're, you don't know what he's going to do, and that means he can do anything he wants because you don't know what he's doing. You don't know where he's coming from. You don't know what he's going to come at you with. So if they come at you and they're doing a jab and you decide to duck, and I duck under, I'm ducking, I'm looking down, I can't see what he's doing. He could bring a knee up into my face. He could be hitting me from above. And if he does, and if I do duck down, duck down, he can come down on me with all his weight on whatever punch he wants right on my head. Bad idea. If you must, if you do want to go and go under his punch and move to this side, then you need to bob. In which case, you keep your eyes on your opponent, your head up, you don't bend your waist over, and instead you bend your knees and step to the side like this. If you are going to bend at the waist, you bend a little bit forward but not down to where you can't see him. Or, instead, weave back and around. Never put your knees too far over your toes so that you lose your balance, but you can weave your body back. I much prefer to weave because you don't have to move five feet to get out of the way of a punch. You only need to move like half an inch for his punch to miss. So if he wants to come do a punch, instead of doing a duck, I'll just weave out of the way and step to the side. So if he comes at me with his jab, I just weave and see how I weave to the side and I never lost my balance. I never lost focus on who I'm, on who I'm fighting and I'm ready for my counter even while I'm moving. I can't do any punches from down here. But if he comes at me and I want to do a weave, I can be weaving and punching at the same time. Way better, way faster, and leaves a lot less exposed. Another thing, if you're standing still and you want to be some kind of, you know, I'm big and bad, Billy Badass, and stand there and try to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the guy, now all you're doing is you're trading punches. You're going to say, I hit you, then you hit me, and I hit you, and you hit me. That's a dumb idea. It's not a contest to see who can take the most punches. It's a contest to see who can not get hit and instead knock the other guy out. If you come in on a guy and you're trying to fight him and you just come straight in the stand, toe-to-toe -to -toe with him, flat-footed, then all you're doing is swinging at each other and seeing who can take the most hit. Bad idea. If you don't move, you're going to lose. That's just the end of the story. If you don't move, you're going to lose. Footwork is everything. Always stay on the bottom, balls of your feet, and always be moving. Never stand still. I'm never going to go straight in and just stand there and exchange punches with them. I'm going to come in, and I'm going to be looking for my angle every single time. I'm going to be coming in, and I'm going to step to the side, and I'm going to be moving. I'm going to be moving to both sides, trying to get to, to an angle so that I can come on them and find my opening. If I'm backing away, I'm not backing straight up so he can just follow me with all the combos that he wants. That's a bad idea. Instead, if I'm backing up and I need to get out, I'm going to be moving and circling to the side. I'm not going to give him a stationary target that he can draw in and aim on. So if I come in for my combo, I'm not going to go straight in. I'm going to be moving to the side. I'm going to be coming in and trying to move around him. If he comes at me and I need to back away, I'm not going to back straight up. If he comes at me, I'm going to be moving to the side and circling and trying to get my counter in on him. Standing still is just never a good idea. So again, top five mistakes. Number one, throwing a haymaker. It's a bad idea. It leaves you open for everything. And if they're throwing a haymaker, it gives you all the time in the world to do whatever you want. Number two, rushing. You rush at a guy, you're building up momentum, and now you can't stop when you get close enough to do anything. And if they're rushing at you, all you need to do is take one step while he's running and throwing all his momentum in one direction. Number three, batting. Unless you're some kind of kung fu martial arts master, you're, you can't bat a combo away. 
you're going to miss one and you're going to take it on the chin instead. It's a bad idea. Um, three or four, ducking. You duck, you're taking your eyes off the opponent, you can't see what he's doing, you don't know what he's going to do, you can take a knee in the face, punch from above, whatever, weave or bob instead. Never, ever, ever, ever take your eyes off your opponent. And lastly, if you're not moving, you're done. You go straight in, try to, try to stand toe-to-toe, -to -toe, trading punches, it's a bad idea. Always look for your angle. That's pretty much it. Simple.